Hey, this is Terry Grover from Terry Grover Computer Consulting in Portland, Maine. Today we're going to go over how to save documents to PDF format. If you get email, you have probably received attachments in your email that have a file name and then afterwards they say .pdf. These are items that can be opened by anybody with any computer. In other words, whether you have a Mac or a PC, and no matter what software you have, as long as you have downloaded Adobe Reader or another PDF reader from the internet for free, you can open these. Why would you want to save a document as a PDF? There are several reasons. First, because you would like to have the document look the same no matter who opens the document. For example, I have two documents here that I happen to have created in Word 2010 for Windows. The program itself looks very similar in the Mac version or even in the 2007 version. And if you're using the brand new 2013 or Office 365, it also looks quite similar to this. One of these on the left is a bridal shower invitation that I've put together here. You can see why when I email this to people that I might be inviting to this bridal shower that I would want it to look exactly the way I have it here. I've inserted some text effects here, a piece of word art here with shapes and shadows, and even some clip art. And then I've created, I have entered what I like, a new font here for details of the party. I don't want this to arrive in someone's email inbox have them open it, and have it just be plain text. It would lose the whole effect. On the right here, I've begun typing a report that I might put together. So this is mostly text. But notice I'm using some of the styles that I've created up here to make it look professional. And I don't want to go to all that work and then have somebody open it and find out that their computer doesn't have the same fonts as my computer and so it comes out in a way that doesn't look the way I want it to look. I guess I'm pretty picky about things like that. So why would we create a PDF otherwise? The other thing that you need to understand about a PDF is that it cannot be edited by either myself or by the person I send it to. So when I save something as a PDF, I first want to save it in the format in the software that I've created with it with. For example, I've created this in Word in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to go File, and then I'm going to go Save As. And notice how it says Word Document, Save As Type, .docx. This is the standard Word document. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this in my documents. Of course, you could specify which folder if you wish to. And then I'm going to click Save. Notice how at the top of the screen now, it has the file name that I had given it, Report to Committee, which it took automatically from here. Now, what if I want to save these as a PDF so that I can email them or send them off to other people in other ways? All I have to do here is, again, go to File, Save As, and instead of saving as Type Word Document, I'm just going to click and go down the list until I see PDF. Now it's going to save it as a standard publishing online and printing um, PDF that I can email to someone. So I'm going to click Save and watch what happens. There it is. Here is my Adobe Reader and here is my report. If I wanted to email this report, I would simply go up here to the little envelope click that and attach it to an email to send it off. I'm going to close that one and over here is the bridal shower again. File, save as, shower invitation is the name that I gave it to before when I saved it as a Word document but now I'm going to go down and save it as a PDF. It says it already exists because I had done this before so I'm going to say yes please replace it so you can see how it comes out. And as you can see, it looks exactly the same way I created it. So I know that when I email this out to people, they're going to see it the same way I want them to see it. 
you need to understand as well that if you have the other parts of the Office Suite, for example, Microsoft Excel would be one. If you had gone in here and you had also done a table, whatever it is, and put in some values and whatever you wanted them to be, I could go to File here just the exact same way as I did with Word. Click Save As, give it a name, and then save as type. Well, the standard is going to be Excel Workbook, but in this case, I could also, after saving it as an Excel Workbook, so that I can go back and change it if I need to later, I could go, and if I go down this list, I'm going to find PDF. Notice how it's in a little bit different place in this list, but it is there. I can save it as a PDF, save, and I will have that as a PDF that I can also send out. So that is, in a nutshell, how to save things as 